Claire, and Mia, and Olivia, oh. and now we have Chris too. Hello. All right, so you just watched our video about cave painting. Olivia, can you believe 20,000 years ago, people would draw pictures inside of the caves? <gasps> yep. What do you think they would draw pictures of? Hmm. <laughs> Horses. Animals. Yep. Anything else? People. They would also, they would actually be telling stories about their day. Yeah, so if they were hunting that day, or um, if they were moving to find food, they would actually draw those pictures on the cave walls. Oh, so Olivia is showing you our supplies. Here's what we need for this project. We're going to make our own cave paintings. Hold on, Olivia, look. Turn it this way. There you go. So we have this paper. What do you think this paper base, is from? Um, Walmart. From Target. <laughs> <laughs> well, we took our, our shopping bags, our brown shopping bags, and we cut them. Hold on, Olivia. Let me show them one thing at a time. We cut them into pieces because we're going to make that look like our old cave wall. If you don't have those kind of shopping bags, you can always just use white paper and you can take your crayon and kind of color it brown to give it that, that look of the cave wall. So, you ready? We're going to turn this into a little piece of rock that we're pretending was from a cave wall that was made 20,000 years ago. Are you ready? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some peeled crayons. These are just red, black, and brown. Okay. And we're going to plan out a shape that looks like a rock. <laughs> so I'm going to take my crayon, and I'm going to just draw a wiggly circle that looks like this on my paper. Wiggly circle. See if you can draw a wiggly circle on your paper, Olivia, on that side, the brown side. Here's our wiggly circle. Can you just mess with that one? Mm -hmm. You got this. Wiggly circle. All Look at mine. Wiggly circle that almost fills up the whole piece. Good job, Good job. Mia. You should maybe make yours a little bit bigger. What do you think? Actually, you can make it small. Make it small. Okay, so this next part's a little tricky. I know when I do this lesson in school, it's a little bit tricky for the younger kids. Okay, so can't do it instead of cutting on this line, we're going to use our fingers and tear it so it looks like a jagged rock. So you're going to start like this, and we're going to do little baby tears and try to stay on the line. I'm going to help you with this. This okay. is the hard part. Little baby tears. Baby tears. Baby tears. If you pull it really fast, look what happens. I know. And then it doesn't make the little, the little cool rock shape. Baby tears. How are you doing, Mia? I'm good. This is easy. Good work for you. Oh. This is easy work for you. Oh, we got you. a thick piece of paper here. <laughs> got a thick piece. It's a little bit hard for Chris, though. Ugh. Dad, you just broke my circle. That's how they do it in the real case. Mm. All right, I've got my rough edges to make it look like a real rock. How are your baby tears going? Not very well. I just stirred up my whole wall. That's what it's supposed to do. We're making rocks. We're going to put them together and make our cave wall. I think we have to start again. I'm going to start mine again. All right, Mia and Olivia, while Mia's finishing, Olivia, you're going to love this next part. You paying attention? Olivia, our... <coughs> Olivia, listen. <coughs> listen. Listen. Our rock smooth or bumpy? We lost her. Are rocks smooth or bumpy? It could be smooth and bumpy. It could be. It's like normal bumpy. So this is the only time I'm gonna. This is the only time I'm gonna tell you to do this. Take your paper and crumple it up. Crumple your paper up. Oh, like you're gonna throw it in the garbage. Crumple it up like this. Make it into a ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as hard as you can. I must like a butterfly. Oh, that's cool. 
Cool. Yours is different than ours. Good job. Mine's a little more circled than that. Yours is a little more realistic. Good job. Squeeze it, Olivia! Squeeze! Squeeze it, Mia! Okay, <laughs> we're going to open it back up and check that out, Olivia. Now I have all my texture of a rock on there. How'd yours come out, Mia? I like it. Good job. Check that out. All right, what? so now, look at this. We're going to take our peeled crayons. Pick a color, any color. Um, you have red? Well, actually, I'm going to pick another one. I'm going to pick black. Okay. You're going to pick black? Okay, I'm going to pick brown. Now watch this. Take your crayon and lay it flat down on your paper. Flat down and let it go. Lay it flat down and let it go. You turn your little turn it this. Yeah. And then, I call this little sleeping soldier. You're going to grab his back like this. And you're going to rub back and forth. Rub, rub, rub. We're doing a crayon rubbing here to make our rock look like it has some dark spots and some light spots. Rub, 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 rub. Ooh, that looks good, Olivia. That looks like a real rock. Trade. Trade. You do brown, I'll do black. Yeah. Why is that red? That's okay, because as you saw in the video, they use a lot of red coloring in their cave paintings also. Red and black and brown mostly. Take a look at this. We've got our, oh, can you see it? It's got our texture, it's got some color, it's got some good little wrinkles in it. So it looks like a real rock. Let me crinkle it up again. Mommy, look. Okay. Mine's better. Yours is great. Let me see. Show it, to, show it to everybody. Yeah. Okay, so now for the part where you get to be creative, you must channel your inner caveman. Channel your inner caveman. Okay, think about what you've done that day and what story you want to tell on your rock. Did you go hunting? Did you, um... I went... Did you go hunting and did you find any of these animals that you'd like to draw about on your rock? I want to draw this one. Did you go looking for a water and you found a stream that you would like to tell that story on your rock? So now you're going to take your crayon, you can choose whichever color you want, and tell a story with your crayon. So, these are a little bit tricky, Olivia, to draw the animals. See? Do you think you could draw one of these animals on your rock? I have to get a little bit lower to do it. <laughs> if that's a little tricky, why don't you look at this wanna, paper right here and try to draw one of these little symbols Ooh. on your cave rock. They all mean different things. So for hunting, you could make what kind of looks like a stick figure with his um, hunting like bow and arrow or spear, and you can make an animal next to it. A lot of times they actually would trace their hand also. You could trace your hand. Well, that's actually kind of how they would sign their work. Handprint on there. You can make the animal that you hunted. You can even make... A lot of times when I was looking at the examples of the cave paintings, there were little lines. I think it looks pretty It was kind of like they were keeping track or counting really something. So like if you went hunting that day and you found like three animals that you hunted for your family, you could make like three lines of how many animals you hunted that day. I'm gonna hunt one. Can you trace my hand? I'm gonna make two little, li two little lines saying how many animals I hunted. There you go. Or tracing hands. Good. Well, that's how you could sign. That's how you would sign your work. I would also like to draw a woolly mammoth because that's what I hunted today. Ooh, well, that's a pretty big. Look that. Pretty big. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> the cool thing about this is you do not have Daddy, to be perfect. That's for sure. Why do you not see it? You want to trade? You want black? Get a black one. Black. Yeah, I want black. Yeah, really good. There's a black man. I'm going to trade. I'm going to make mine black and red. I'm trying to draw this animal right here. Which one? This guy. Mm -hmm. 
You can't see it. Okay. There we go. Yeah. What other symbols could we add up here to the top? I'm draw one of these. What does this spiral remind you of? Does that remind you of a movie? Hmm? No. no? It reminds me of a movie. Okay. Isn't, that, isn't that in Moana? Oh, yeah. Remember in Moana mm -hmm. when she goes in and sees the pictures on the walls? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The pictures on the walls. There we go. Moana. Alright, I'm signing my work by tracing my hand. Let's do this. Here, put your hand out. I'm going to trace it. Ready? There we go. Traces. 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 Alright, I think I'm done too. So are we. So are we. Alright, on the count of three, let's oh. hold ours up. Oh. And then we might need to move them closer to the camera. One. Okay. You ready? Ready? One. One, two, three. No, two. no I'm not ready. I'm not ready. One. Oh, she's still telling her story. I'm going to hold mine up. Two. One, two. Go. Three. Mommy, you're blending my Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Can I, can I get yours even closer? Come on. There we go. Yay. Good job, Olivia. Yay. All right. We'll see you tomorrow Bye. for another art project.